saying. Um, yeah. All right, let's get to Kofi Coburn because I think that's worth touching on as well. Uh, Illinois announced on, I guess it was Tuesday at this point, that he was going to be suspended for three games as a result of uh, committing a violation that is no longer a violation. He sold team-issued uh, apparel on the web. I believe it was on Players Trunk back in June when everybody thought that he was going to the NBA draft. Um, you were not allowed to do that and return to school because this happened before the NIL legislation was put into place. I know there are different rules in every state. Um, I don't think anybody really understands kind of nationally. My understanding, uh, and I think this was backed up by reporting from Jeff Borzello of ESPN.com, in Illinois, right now, you are allowed to sell team-issued memorabilia after the fact. Uh, I who, who fucking knows what these, these NIL yeah. rules, but... Um, I'll let you guys have your say on this. I just want to make one point. I just think it's the height of stupidity and uh, a very a very dumb PR play to suspend a kid for a violation that was committed three, month, uh, three weeks before a rule changed to make it so that this is no longer a violation. I think it is the typical kind of NCAA brand move to be able to um, to punish – uh, your best players and get the, the stars of the sport off of the court so that they play less. And I think that it is exactly what you would expect out of an organization that did all of the stuff that we talked about for Oklahoma state to create an incentive for a guy that came back to school to, for, for a guy that came back to school to punish him for something to create an incentive for the next Kofi Coburn to not come back to school. It just, I, I'm, I'm not going to get all self-righteous about it. I just think it's dumb. I understand why they do it. And by the letter of the law, it's, it's kind of what you got to do, but it's just, it's, it's the height of stupidity, man. And it's just such a horrible PR move, but Hey, look, the NCAA PR, they're never going to be able to get out of their own way. Well, I think sometimes if, if the PR folks had something to say about it, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't be a thing. You know, sometimes they're just getting handed what the, what the ruling is and Hey, you got to put this out there. And I, I'm sure there's been a time or two where they've been thinking, oh boy, like, you know, this is going to, this is going to explode on social media and implode for, for us. Um, I, look, the, the Kofi Coburn to me, when I first saw the news, I thought, okay, this is the NCAA making an example out of someone so that it gets noticed to the, the country and then it gets noticed by other student athletes that, hey, we are monitoring this. We're looking at it closely, even though it is a free market. Uh, they found a loophole. Uh, it, by him doing something right before NIL uh, became a thing. And by the letter of the law, yeah, it is a violation. Uh, other players have – that's why – am I surprised? Not at all. Uh, but I feel like, you know, we groan at this, and, and rightfully so. I don't know if anything's really going to change about it. But for Kofi Coburn, it's unfortunate. It stinks. He chose to come back to college basketball. Um, I think Illinois will be just fine. You know, they, they have a game at Marquette. Um, and that's still a game that even without Kofi Coper, and I think Illinois will probably be favored in. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't want to, I don't want to hate on your Big East guys, uh, fans. And I know you're, I know you like Shaka and, and Tio. I know you like Shaka in this spot too. But I don't know if, uh, I don't know if Illinois needs Kofi to, uh, to beat this this Marquette team right now. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Or no, no, I, I agree, I agree with you. Uh, but, but I think you know they're going to be fine. Um, they, they, I just, I feel for the kid because. Like we, we just, we, we get so in the weeds on some of this stuff and we forget that we're just talking about guys that haven't even fully, like, they don't even fully know who they are or, or what they are yet because they're at such a young age. We did all kinds of stupid stuff when we were at that age that, that no. these guys, <laughs> that no, these guys really, that all these of my guys, decisions were well thought out plans. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. So I look, I'm with you, Rob. It's, it is, it's disgruntling T.O., but um, I, I hope that it, I, I will be by December. We will have forgotten about this. I think everybody else will. I think this is just going to be a blip. Now here's my thing where this differs from Oklahoma state is that the law was at that time was pretty clearly defined mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that I, I there's not as much sympathy for me when it comes to Kofi on this one, he broke a rule. He's going to serve three games. We're not really even going to think about it. He's still going to be a all Big Ten player. He's still going to be a potential All-American. He's still going to be in line for all these awards. It's not really going to matter. Uh, 
is the NCAA posturing a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it, it is what it is. It was still against the rules. So my sympathy in this particular occasion is not where I, I, I think yours is, Doster. But I, I also think um, that, you know, hey, I, I, I grew up. If that's the rule, that's the rule. Mm-hmm. There's not a whole lot of leeway. If, if that's a rule, that's a rule. So uh, he did it. He serves his he serves his suspension. And we move on. I, it, it, we don't even have to talk about it uh, past those three games. No, you're right. And it's definitely one of those things where we're talking about it because, like, what the hell else do we have to talk about at this point? Good point. <laughs> it's, it's the end of preview season, man. We need hoops to get here. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, you're right. Like, I, I can't I – I think it's dumb and I think it's silly and I think it's just like a bad PR look to punish something, punish someone for something that is no longer, uh, no longer against the rules um, after the fact. But, like, it's also – he broke, he broke the rule. Like you can't really complain about it all that much. So um, it is. Now, wait, I have a question on this. If I can okay. ask. You. So did he, I just want to clarify here. Did he, was he selling this merchandise at a point when he was still in the NBA draft or was he coming back to Illinois and this stuff was available for purchase? Cause I don't remember. I'm pretty sure. Line. I'm pretty sure at this point he had had to have withdrawn from the NBA draft because if I'm the, if my timeline is correct, he was doing this. Uh, he had it on there. Yeah, I think he put it on there when he was declared for the draft, and it was on there in June. I want to say I'm not really sure on the like. So he might have put it on there. He might have put it on there when he declared for the draft, and I'm guessing he never even took it down. That's what I would assume happened. Yeah, that's what I would assume. How much money could he actually make? I mean, who wears a five X? Well, it's it's just like, like, you know, it's, it's, getting, uh, it's getting that Kofi Coburn jersey where you can have it like To's uh, jersey in the background. Over the <laughs> How much would you guys? Chris, let me ask you this: How much would you pay for a framed and signed game worn Terrence Oglesby Clemson uniform? How much would I pay? No, I want to know how much Fanta would pay. Of, of the Terrence Oglesby one, Terrence I'd Oglesby. have to pay him to give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> If it comes with one of those free Mike Tyson grills, probably fourteen ninety nine. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I have the, I have a Mike Tyson picture of Punch Out. Him autographing a picture of Punch Out. So I'll well, throw that one in there. Hey, too. That's actually worth some. That's it's gonna be yeah, worth. That's some not money. bad. That's not yeah. bad. All right. Dude, that All might right. be an in season. That might be an in season game. How much would you pay? That's it for this uh, for this player's jersey. Yep. That I mean, that'll be how much would you pay for uh for for any that you know, that'll be a we're, we're gonna have to circle back on this. How much would you pay to blank? That's gonna be a new bit that we have on the podcast.